we can be uncertain about whether Flash Flood was released to divine intervention or punishment. However, sure Flash Floods have become more frequent and intense due to climate change in recent years, especially in Africa, a poorest area in the world. Today's video is a sudden Flash Flood hit Africa that may make you surprised. If you are truly amazed with Flash Floods, don't leave the screen and do not forget to press the like button, subscribe and comment. The excessive rainfall in Africa is being driven by a phenomenon known as an Indian Ocean Depot. Unrelenting rain and flooding in South Sudan has forced hundreds of thousands of people out of their homes. Crops have been destroyed and grazing land for, for herding communities has been reduced. Half of South Sudan's 11 million people depend on food assistance. Heavy rains caused floods and landslides in Democratic Republic of Congo's capital Kinshasa on December 13th, damaging homes and roads. Ethiopia has experienced more intense and frequent rainfall events in recent years, which has led to an increase in flash floods. One of the most recent flash floods to hit Ethiopia occurred in August 2021, affecting the Afar and Amhara region of the northern part of the country. The flash floods caused by heavy rainfall led to the displacement of over 400,000 people, destroyed thousands of homes, and damaged infrastructure such as roads and bridges. The floods also caused the loss of thousands of hectares of farmland, threatening the livelihood of communities that depend on agriculture. Ethiopia, located in the Horn of Africa, is the country that is vulnerable to natural disasters such as flash floods. Rainfall from October to mid-November was as much as 300% above average across the Horn of Africa, according to the Famine Early Warning System Network. The areas hit hardest include parts of Ethiopia, Somalia, and Kenya, where most of the deaths have occurred. Kenya flood several neighborhoods of the city were inundated after heavy rain on 17th of August 2021. Roads were submerged, cars stranded, and buildings damaged. Rescue services said many had to flee their homes, and images showed people taking refuge on the roofs of houses. Disforestation and land use change are other major contributors to flash floods in this area. Trees help to stabilize soil and reduce the risk of erosion and landslides. However, Widespread deforestation and land use changes such as agriculture and urbanization have removed the natural barriers that would otherwise slow down water flows during rainfall events, leading to the increased runoff and flash floods. Cyclone Freddy made landfall in southeastern Madagascar on Tuesday 
leaving at least four people dead and destruction in its path as winds of up to 112 miles per hour lashed the Alain nation. Waves of nearly 8 meters brought flooding to parts of the country, with the storm forcing more than 11,000 people to flee their homes. Parts of the state of Rivers, Nigeria and large swath of 32 other states have been inundated by the worst flooding in 12 years. The flooding has killed more than 600 people and displaced around 1.4 million. very serious flood in Gilgit Jutiel Nala. Fear seems to have gripped residents of Gilgit city surrounded by natural disasters. All houses at Jutial, Yassin, Yusainabad, and Darmir colony were vacated. The flood had damaged the Nalco head office boundary wall and main gilded road near MP checkpost. Water channels of Yassin colony, Zulfi Karabad, Jutial, and Komer have also been damaged. Death of the flooded stream near Shul Iyal's boundary wall has increased by around 30 feet. Landsliding at the mountains of Neko damaged several houses. The historic flood that engulfed Cali in early 2023 viral video shows a levee break along the Salinas River, which has overflowed its banks. There are several levee breaks along the river, and water can be seen rushing through flooding farmland this large area. Amazing footage showing the tsunami breaking into Mihako City, Japan. It's so sad. They had barely any time to process the earthquake when the tsunami comes rolling in. They probably thought their houses would be good enough to rid it out. May God bless all. The truly horrific images captured on video will ensure that future emergency broadcasts will not be ignored. And the only certainty is that there will be more tsunamis. seeing the two residents of the roof looking down at the raging maelstorm. Seconds before, their own building was swept from its foundations and disintegrated amid the left of the breeze field gave insight into the final horrific moments of so many people that day. Padang is the largest city on the western coast of Sumatra. Padang Padang is an extremely dangerous surf destination and is not recommended for surfing beginners. The waves break in winter swells. 
it is usually jam-packed and there is no water on the reef. Pedra Branca is a small island located on the southern coast of Tasmania and is the home to a huge wave surf break. They are known for their extreme weather conditions, large waves and a variety of marine wildlife. In 2003, Hamish Saunders was literally swept off of Pedra Branca. A deadly wave hit the island and the heavy spray caused him to drown. Ghost Tree got its name because months can go by and you would never see a wave. Then out of nowhere, a powerful wave will appear. Professional big wave surfers risk their lives waiting patiently as Ghost Tree just to catch the right wave. Once they do, the adventure begins and they launch the ride of their life. Surfer Peter Davy died in a massive wave at Ghost Tree in 2007. T Hoopo is the most dangerous break in the world. The waves there have a unique combination of size, power, and speed made more dangerous because they break over the sharp coral reef lying only meters below the surface. In one of the first competitions held in Tihupo, the contest boat carrying the judges and marshal was struck by a wave and capsized. There were several deadly tornado events in the south this year. In March, nearly 30 tornadoes ripped across seven states, causing more than $1 billion in damage and killing three people, according to the National Weather Service. They look okay. okay. Batches of deadly tornadoes continued until late in the year. It's on the ground. Let's subscribe to our channel to see more videos about this side of nature. Not forget, comment to let us know stories about some natural disasters caught on camera. See ya!